we are then re-engineering our operating processes and by re-engineering I mean changing the way we almost do every basic activity in the business. Fundamentally our processes haven't changed for many, many years and the way we manage the business hasn't changed all that much for many, many years. So the idea and the, work, the model we're working on is change the way we plan and schedule the work and how we interface and manage people through the organisation and we really are talking about through transformation and so for us we believe that in that process alone there's a 20 to 30 percent improvement we had in terms of output per person. Now when you go through those sort of changes there are also technology changes for example the, the implementation of the Hilti drills, units that are quiet, uh, much lighter, more easy for the teams to actually manoeuvre. They've improved our face productivities by about 15%. So it really is a combination of leadership, work practices and the way we support people doing the work and some incremental technology changes. So all of those things have to come together for us to take at least 20% out of our cost structures and that's where we focus, that's where we have to go. In fact, that's where we all have to go in this industry. We've used the work uh, and used the task force approach to great effect at our Mumpeting Mill, at the Gator operation, in our Brazilian operations and we're working through Australia and other places. The South African team has actually been part of those improvement projects. So we've taken that knowledge back to South Africa. We're now working with the leadership team in designing a new way of operating and we're using those skills and experience first to make sure that the current processes we undertake, whether it's uh, cleaning up areas, whether it's the way we transfer faces between one place to the next, whether it's the way we manage equipment and people through the process, we think there's at least 10% to be had in that sort of change approach in the first year. We believe then, by reconstructing the way work gets done, a bit like the automobile sector 30 years ago, and again better using the skills we've got available and the experience we've got available, there's another 10 to 15 per cent that can be had in that change process. Beyond that, new technologies are the key. Now I'm talking plus 10 years. For us to mine successfully beyond 4,000 metres, there has to be new technologies, there have to be new technologies that will remove people from exposure areas and improve productivity because it gets tougher both from a safety point of view and from a productivity point of view. So we call it a three horizon per approach. What's the work we do in the next 12 months? What's the work we do in the next three years? And what's the work we do in the next 10 years to create a long-term sustainable business in South Africa? There are a lot of lessons I think can be learned, whether it's uh, new cutting technologies, new uh, equipment available that can actually clear material from the face more effectively. There are a whole range of technologies that I don't think we've set our mind to addressing in terms of how they may be applied in South Africa, deep level gold mining.